Hey Gemini, what's up gang? I hope everybody is well. So we're gonna go ahead and look into some blessings for you guys, why not? If that's something that interests you, do stick around. Gemini, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's gonna have all the information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe, you tribe, so go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Gemini, if you're returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well. Hope you're taking care of yourself. I do hope that you're doing what's best for you. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Gemini, thank you for all the good vibes. It really does mean the world, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. So we're going to do a power animal first, all right, for the blessings. But we did have... Well, this is a lot, this card, okay? But what I was getting was like a baptism type of energy or light, okay? In fact, I heard deliverance. So take that as it resonates, okay? Um, but yeah, you could be being delivered from something, Gemini. Or something could be being delivered to your house, perhaps. Maybe you've been waiting on a delivery or... Maybe you were unsure about ordering from somewhere and you get your package. There could have been something that where something was like lost, you know, like, you know how when you order packages from like all the way overseas and it can take weeks and weeks and weeks for them to get to you. It feels like that's like something that's happened here. Um, a package or something has gotten lost. It doesn't necessarily have to be exactly a package you're waiting for in the mail. It could be a situation. It could be something that you've been waiting on for a minute. Um, I'm hearing waiting for it to hit my bank. So you could have been waiting for a payment to come through or something like that. Maybe you've been waiting for a verdict. Um, some of you guys could have been waiting to hear back from somebody. I'm getting that kind of energy like you've been waiting for something. And there's some kind of deliverance that's coming in regards to that situation. You're going to be delivered from that waiting situation, okay? So things are not going to be stagnant anymore or, again, something's just going to arrive that you've been waiting for. I'm also, this is kind of a, a, a different kind of message, but I'm also getting the energy that your soul, okay, your higher self has been waiting for something because your higher self knows something that you don't know. Um, your higher self knows that something has been on the way or there's been like a deliberation is what I'm getting almost. Um, this could be in regards to another person too, take it as it resonates, but it's almost like this energy of like something is weighing its options in regards to coming towards you or something like that. I feel like your higher self knows about that, whereas you don't. So your higher self is really just waiting for this situation to come to pass or waiting for this to arrive or something, okay? That is what I'm getting here. All right, interesting. Um, there could also be this energy of light energy that's coming over you. I'm hearing light language too. So some of you guys are about to access the capabilities of speaking light language if you don't if you don't already right some of you guys already can speak light language or write light language or something like that yeah with the nightingale it's like there's something about your voice that's going to transcend certain situations and it's going to help you um heal heal yourself heal others there's something about that okay some of you guys could be having really good dreams. That could be a blessing, especially if you've been having really odd or crazy kind of dreams or even dark dreams, okay? Um, your dreams are about to lighten up, okay? I'm also getting like you're meeting somebody in your dreams and that's a blessing because for whatever reason, you can't see them in the physical. This person could have passed on. This person could just not be around you for whatever reason, Gemini, but you're getting to spend time with them in the dream uh, state, which is... A blessing for somebody out here okay that's what i'm getting i'm also getting snow okay snow could be a blessing for somebody maybe you like snow gemini shit okay not everybody does but some people do and maybe you like snow or maybe you guys don't usually get to have snow where you're at but you're having snow maybe it's gonna be a white christmas for somebody and you're just really excited about that um i don't know there's something about that okay a blessing coming through with snow I'm also hearing something's going to blanket you like snow. So I don't know, Gemini. These messages are already all over the place. There could be something about being able to be in with some cozy socks, a blanket on top of you, watching a movie or listening to a podcast, reading a book. There's something here. Um, I'm also getting somebody sitting on the couch drawing. Okay, Gemini. So you could be 
I don't know, just spending some cozy time with yourself or with others or with somebody close to you and it's a blessing. Or maybe with your fur babies, okay? That's for somebody. All right, let's get a power animal out here. A power animal is an animal that you can pull on its traits and its attributes to help you out when you're going through whatever you may be going through, Gemini, okay? Basically, okay, fox. Basically pulling on the, the power of this animal. So we have the fox. We don't get the fox very often. I'm not even sure I know what the fox means in the book. Um, but I do know what the fox means to me, right? To me, the fox talks about being cunning. It talks about being resourceful. It talks about being very smart. And also, this is a very dapper looking uh, fox, if I do say so myself. So for some of you guys, the blessing could be your attractiveness is going up another notch, okay? Um, you could be getting a makeover here for somebody. I don't know, I'm getting that kind of energy for somebody or you have a reason to get dressed up. Um, it could be a blessing. Maybe you don't really go out that often or you know, besides like the grocery store or the doctor's office or something like that, but you could be getting invited to something where it's like, I have to dress up. I have to do my hair. I have to put on the cologne. I have to, you know, put the lotion on the elbows <laughs> or something, okay? I'm getting that energy here. of like a reason to dress up or a reason to go out. That is for somebody, okay? You could also be saving some kind of money or you could be finding a loophole in regards to money. Um, you could definitely be, um, something very resourceful could be happening to you in regards to a blessing. For me, the fox, when I, when I think of finances, I think of like saving money or being able to be frugal or getting something for cheaper than what you were supposed to get it, like getting a deal or a bargain or something. So that could be happening, okay? Sorry if I'm so sniffly, guys. This It's cold outside, but the allergies are still popping around here. We, don't, we never get a break from the allergies in Florida. That's the thing, okay? We have winter allergies, if you want to call it a winter, and we have spring and summer allergies. Okay, so the fox says, smart, strong partner or mate and a wise teacher. The fox is an enchanting creature with plenty of mystique to go around. Fox personalities are skillful in business and also make great teachers. They are quick to learn and adapt well to new situations. Foxes are ideal life partners as they commit to relationships for the long term. Their natural char uh, charisma keeps things exciting. Fox energy helps us stay true to those most dear to us. When this card appears, reconnect to those you love. Foxes don't do well when they slip away. Okay, interesting. It says, when in balance, magical, ingenious, a teacher, and monogamous. When out of balance, sneaky, and unsure of their identity. To bring into balance, partnership and connection. It's funny because when I look at the fox, I don't necessarily get like a good partner. I don't really know that much about foxes and their mating uh, things that are going on with them. I don't know if they mate for life or not or anything like that. But I, I just don't really get that because I kind of like, the fox can have a negative... Um, kind of meanings of like being sneaky or being manipulative or you know finding any way they can to get into the hen house and take your eggs like foxes can definitely be looked at as sneaky so I don't really necessarily see that but it's interesting that in this book that is the meaning so Gemini you could be having some strengthening connections here as a blessing for sure there could definitely be this energy too of you rising into your teaching capabilities or um, finding a teacher here maybe you are going to be connecting with a teacher or a mentor here Somebody that's going to help you learn and adapt to whatever you're transforming into or whatever you're going through right now. Because a lot of you guys, we've been talking about it, have been going through a lot of ascensions and just spiritual growth. And there could be somebody coming in that's going to help you kind of navigate through that, okay? If this is talking about a romantic partner, you could be meeting somebody that's unlike anybody that you've ever met with that clean slate energy. Um, this is somebody who is funny, they're charismatic, they're very attractive, they're exciting, they bring excitement to your life, okay? This person could definitely be younger than you, Gemini, but take it as it resonates, okay? You could be the younger one, it doesn't matter really, but I am getting like a younger energy with the fox, okay? And I feel like this person's going to help you reconnect to yourself in a lot of ways. Um, but I feel like with the fox energy in general, you're reconnecting to people, so maybe with like the holidays coming up or something, Gemini, you're just, you know, reconnecting with family or hanging out with family and getting around people. And that could be a blessing here. Okay, shoot. Blessings for Gemini. Let's move, let's move to the tea leaves, guys. This is going to give us a lot of little details here. Blessings for Gemini gang. What blessings are coming in? We have the hills. It says obstacles to overcome, physical training, and working on a group project 
or a solo project. Okay. So as a blessing, Gemini, you're about to overcome some kind of problem that you've been facing. It's funny because the poison card was kind of dipping out a little bit and it makes me feel like there's been something that you've been unable to shake here. This could be a cold or this could be something where um, maybe you've been suffering through something every single day. This could be a lot of mental anxieties or just a lot of problems. Maybe there's been a lot of bills. There's been this energy of feeling like you're going, you're on the road to nowhere. You're getting nowhere. It's like every single hump that you get over, there's another one, but we can see the sun in the distance. We can see a new beginning, a fresh start that is there. There's some kind of healing energy that's available to you, but you are going to have to get through whatever these problems are. I do feel like you're overcoming whatever obstacles you've been facing. That's the blessing here. Some of you guys, this could feel like a new life almost overnight, but it's not, right? Like you've been working really hard on something or you've been working really hard on yourself, but it's going to feel like it's almost like the shift is like that is what I'm getting. And I kind of feel like other people are going to feel that way too. We have the cobweb energy. It says cloaked by the divine, a bubble of light, spiritual warrior and protected from negative forces beyond your control. So one of the blessings here is that you are being protected, especially while you go through whatever these obstacles are, while you navigate yourself through these difficult times, Gemini, nothing else is going to be able to come at you, okay? So there could be bird bitches off to the side somewhere trying to send energy your way or trying to, you know, start problems, right? Start I don't know, I'm getting like rumors or petty conflicts or something like that, okay? But you're basically being cloaked and you're being protected. Also, if you feel like you have like a journey ahead of you and you're unsure about it, maybe because of your vehicle or maybe because um, you're going somewhere that you've never been before, Gemini, there's like um, almost like an apprehensiveness that I'm feeling here. I feel like you're going to be protected in that and that is a blessing. So the blessing here moving forward is that you're getting over something that's been really causing you a lot of issues that you've been struggling in regards to. And this could have been a struggle that was ongoing, okay? And you are being protected. I feel like you are being enveloped in like a bubble of light here by spirit and you're also getting a fresh start in regards to whatever these obstacles are. Okay, in November wanting to pop out. Keep that. Well, I don't want him to cover up the fox. We'll keep it next to the fox, okay? So that 1111 portal could have really been significant. And whatever your wish was during that time or whatever it was that you were trying to manifest, that looks like it's going to be coming to pass. What do we have here for blessings, please, for Gemini gang? Blessings, please. For Gemini gang. Okay, we have another month coming out in December. Okay, Gemini. Well, damn, let's move this fox buddy over here so we can... Y'all know I put the months over there to the side. So December, something is coming from November to December. So maybe the problems that you've been facing in November will not be the same problems that you're going to be facing in December. I feel like there's going to be some kind of turnaround or some kind of extreme change here that's happening. We have the wealth card coming out here. It says viral growth, old money, ancestral wealth. Nice. Okay, let's get some more out here. Bottom of the deck, we have October. Okay, so I don't know. October, November, December, these three months could have been really pivotal moments for you, Gemini, or something has happened here. What else do we have for Gemini? Blessings, please. Blessings for Gemini gang. What is this that just popped? Something did. We have the angel. It says, signs, spiritual guides, spiritual guidance and protection from harm, and then light a candle. Oh, man. You know what's not a good combination? When you have allergies and your nose is getting the spiritual itches, that's just not a great combination at all. So I am so sorry if I'm like sniffling and rubbing my nose the whole reading. Okay. So, Gemini, you are being guided through the darkness. You're being guided through some kind of obstacle. And we have March that just came out, guys. Okay. So something could be happening from now into December through March. Okay. There could also be something about you marching forward, marching ahead here, having the strength to get over something. Yeah, major challenge to overcome. So you're overcoming whatever major challenge that you're going through. And especially by March, all of this will be cleared up. I do feel like you're being guided. You're being guided away from a situation that would be causing you a lot of stress or causing you a lot of worries, okay? We have the seahorse coming out. It says healing, family news, a single parent, and family matters. Well, that makes sense with the fox energy because the fox energy is talking about connecting with people around you okay and healing those connections 
being something that is stable for others, okay? So you could find yourself, you know, healing a lot of your family situations right now. I think, uh, look, a sincere wish on the bottom of the deck with a needle and thread. I think I want to go ahead and get into tarot. So what are these obstacles that Gemini is going to be overcoming here for this blessings reading? What are these obstacles? Okay. We have the judgment energy. So Gemini, especially with the Page of Cups, you might feel like you haven't made the best choices, okay? You could really feel that, um, like, yeah, you made wrong decisions or something and you wish you could go back and change something. You know, the Page of Cups talks about apologizing or feeling sorry about something. Some of you guys could feel like you caused some kind of conflict in your life. Maybe with the Fool, you were... Um, unsure of taking a new journey or going off on a new path maybe you were strapped for cash or something like that or was this energy here of like where finances held you back in a situation or maybe you feel like you got yourself more stuck in regards to finances like you halted your movement by whatever choice that you made okay i feel like that's clearing up how is that going to clear up for gemini how is gemini going to overcome these obstacles with this blessing we have the two of cups. Okay, Gemini, you're going to get on the same page with yourself and you're going to go ahead and go for something. I like this two of cups because it has a contract and it has like them holding hands like they've made a decision to buy this house or to get married or to do whatever. Like, you know, like they've made the choice that feels best for them, the choice that they connect with with their heart. Okay, so there could definitely be a situation like that where you're you've been reflecting over something Gemini and the blessing here is that you're getting on the same page with yourself and you're going to make a decision that feels good to you. It's going to allow you to move forward as well. With the nine of cups on the bottom of the deck, this is going to bring some kind of wish fulfillment into your life. Now for some of you guys, this could be talking about another person, especially with the fox energy and then the seahorse. I know it says family matters, but I feel like your lover could be your family right? Your friends are your family. Your family is just those around you that you feel connected to and that you have love for, right? Family doesn't have to just be blood. So I feel like there's something here where maybe there's been some mistakes with somebody in the past and um, you, this the person doesn't have to be from your past. This could be somebody you're currently dealing with, like a friend or a lover. And it's just been rocky or it's been bumpy. It's been up and down. Either way, I feel like you've been reflecting on something, Gemini. And I feel like you're about to come to a conclusion with that person or come down to a decision here about this person or they're going to be doing that in regards to you i feel like whatever this is this is going to cause wish fulfillment on both ends and everybody is going to feel settled within this situation so i am getting like um a resolution type of energy here which is crazy i wasn't expecting that for that card but yeah there could be something too where you've been fighting with your family or you maybe your kids right you've been having problems with somebody it just feels like whatever personal problems that you've been having with somebody close to you gemini those are going to be resolved you guys are going to be getting on the same page you could be deciding to buy a house or to um, finance something or there could be something here like assigning a contract I'm getting a deed to to something <clears throat> Somebody could have been trying to decide on whether or not they wanted to give, like, that's crazy too. Because these are new cards, so I don't exactly know what the cards are just because they pop out. But I was just about to say, somebody could be deciding to gift you something or to sign something over to you, okay? And then we have the Six of Pentacles that came out. So yes, I do feel like there's some kind of charitable act that's about to happen, Gemini. Um, this could also be, again, with that energy that you've been waiting for something. You've been waiting for uh whatever this is to reach your mailbox hit your bank okay you've been waiting for an approval on something with the six of pentacles here that could be coming i feel like whatever you've been struggling in regards to right because they're serving up food here to people in need so it's almost the energy of like whatever you've been in need of you're about to be given to you and this is really going to make you feel good it's going to bring some kind of harmony or a sense of balance to you because you've been really heavy on reflecting of like have i made the wrong decision have i fucked everything up how can i come back from this you know it's like a wake-up call that has happened to somebody out here about their choices or you know something in regards to that that's what this feels like for me okay 
So whatever you've been in need of, whatever you've been feeling like you've been in lack mentality in regards to, it could be anything, Gemini. Or if there's a situation where you weren't on the same page with somebody, there wasn't a lot of equal give and take, somebody was being very selfish. I feel like this person has been reflecting. They're going to come back. They're going to offer you something a little bit more balanced, Gemini. Of course, it's up to you whether you accept that. But I feel like since this is a blessings reading, you would want this, okay? So this does not have to be a lover. This could definitely be family. It could be friends. This could be like you know, possibly like you had a falling out with somebody. This could even be like um, a parental type of situation, like with your parent or something like that. You had a falling out. I feel like you guys are coming back together. It's almost like the soul track or soul contract, excuse me, is about to be fulfilled or something like that. That's just what I'm getting guys. Okay. So it's either that or you're about to receive a random act of kindness as a blessing. And this is going to help you overcome whatever challenge you've been going through. You know, it could be like your landlord or something saying that they're not going to charge you rent for December. Merry Christmas, right? <laughs> it's like, oh, wow, that really helps me out. It's something like that. Okay. That's not for everybody, obviously. Some of you, I did mention like getting something for cheaper or something. I feel like that could be happening. Like there could be a break here on a bill or something. Mm, take it as it resonates, okay? Somebody could come out to your house to do some work, maybe some plumbing work, or maybe they're working on your car, Gemini, or your roof or something, and they could just be like, you know what, this one's on us. Or somebody could um, do some lawn work for you. It just feels like somebody is going to be helping you out when you need it. And this is really going to take you out of this energy of like overthinking because with this judgment energy, that's what I'm getting off this card. Now, you guys know I am an intuitive reader, so I read by a lot like what I get off of the illustrations on cards, which is why it's one of the ways I pick my cards. Right. But there's something here with like they're pointing the finger, but then there's all these fingers pointing back at them. And it's almost like there could have been like this back and forth of like, no, this is your fault. If you hadn't have been so stubborn, if you hadn't have been so emotional, if you hadn't have been so this, so that right? We could have done something better. Or maybe this is you pointing the finger up at the sky like this is your fault, spirit. You can't ever let me catch a fucking break around here, right? And then you see that really the finger is just pointing back at yourself like it's your reflection pointing back at you like no, you're the one that's in charge of your life. You make your decisions here and it's easy to blame everybody but you for the choices you make. But at some point we all got to take accountability and be like, well, you know what? I can do better, you know, or I can learn from this situation or some ting, okay? So there's something like that going on here. But I do feel like you're coming into balance or harmony within yourself again, and you are getting something that you needed. Okay, Gemini. And, you know, I, let's just take a second to appreciate this. This is the out of uh, hand tarot, by the way. A lot of artist um, energy in this tarot, too. So I'm just going to let you guys know there's a lot of like nods to artists and things like that which is i really like that but can we appreciate this card i really like this right them plating up food for the needy like that's just such a good vibe here with that card it really encap enca like in if i can speak guys it captures the essence of the six of pentacles which is doing charity work you know maybe that's a blessing too maybe you get to maybe you've been having like judgment put on you like you you've been given a lot you've been blessed with a lot maybe it's time to start blessing other people's or giving back to people or going out there and making a difference somehow some of you guys have some kind of gift or skill or something that could be of service to other people like you could be out there helping other people and i'm not saying that you have to help people but it's almost like there's something there where there's like a conviction that's being put on you. That's kind of what I'm getting with this judgment energy with all them fingers pointing back. It's like a conviction. It's like, you know, I gave you this gift not so you could just sit there and hide away from the world and be selfish. I gave you this gift so you can go out there and you can help other people. You know, like the help that you've needed or something like that, okay? Like I helped you so you could help other people. And I'm getting this energy of somebody being like, well, nobody helped me, but spirit helped you, right? That's what I'm getting from somebody, okay? That's not for everybody, guys. So do take these readings as they resonate. Let's get into the cobwebs here. You're being cloaked by the divine, okay? And being protected. We have the moon with the four of swords. Interesting. Isn't this giving like ritual type of energy, okay? And then with the moon, mirror, 
like there, there's something here where maybe you are being protected from somebody. I'm going to go by what the illustrations are saying and not necessarily what these cards usually mean. Uh, there could be somebody who has been trying to do something to you behind the scenes, Gemini. Now, this does not have to just be magic, right? Yeah, seven of wands. That's the message. It doesn't just have to be magic. Not everybody's involved in magic. Like, I get that, okay? But it could be something where they're spreading rumors or they're trying to, maybe they're going behind your back and talking to your boss or maybe they're trying to forge documents or maybe they're trying to force themselves on you in some kind of way or force a situation like it's almost this energy of somebody who's trying to get past a barrier that they're not allowed to get past right he's got his hands up and he's like got this little clipboard he's like are you on the list motherfucker i didn't think so so give me 10 feet it's something like that okay i'm getting the energy where it's like somebody has been trying to get past your energetic barriers or your physical barriers that you have for some of you you could downright have a stalker and we have picked up on that energy from time to time so i know that there's probably a couple people out here that have like an ex or a family member or somebody who just will not leave them be there could be somebody who's looking into something this moon with this mirror it's almost giving social media too for me for some reason or like the world wide web like searching you up looking you up trying to figure something out Somebody could be pulling cards on you or in looking into divination, however they do it. Maybe they skyer or something like that. But I'm getting the energy of somebody who's trying to figure out something. They're trying to find out your secrets, get past your barrier. Because I feel like somebody just feels like you're a little too fucking comfortable or you're resting too much or you've been too quiet or you've gathered too much distance from them or something like that with the Four of Swords. Like, you know, like you've put something to rest, but somebody else hasn't. Let me get a drink of my coffee, guys. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. It feels like somebody um, is trying to get past your barriers here that you have set up. But I feel like spirit wants to put your mind at ease. Anything that they're sending to you is getting reflected back with that mirror energy. Um, and you are going to be able to rest, especially since you're going through enough stress already. Like you're going through a lot of stressful situations. And I feel like there is somebody around you, possibly a sneaky little fox, that is trying to cause some kind of issue. You might not even be aware of this. Some of you could, though, okay, for real. But I feel like this is your spirit guide. It's like, uh, I don't know if you're allowed to do that or I don't know if you're allowed to be here or something like that. Somebody could be trying to gain access to a gated entrance with, like, a passcode or something, too. Or I'm getting a storage unit. Take that as it resonates, guys. I'm getting, like, something that's locked. It could be a locker. Maybe it's like a locker at the gym. Maybe somebody's trying to get in your car. Maybe somebody's trying to hack your page or something. There's something here where somebody's trying to bypass something. They're trying to get past a barrier or a lock or a boundary that's been put in place, either by you, by spirit, or just by the situation, right? Like, so that, let's say this is your bank, your bank information. Like, you have a password, right? And then your bank has, like, my bank is very strict. So, like, if I try to log in from a different device, like, alarm bells be ringing, I gotta do, like, like three verifications like my bank like if I if I go out of town and I, I uh, run my card or something like they lock my card like my bank is just so fucking strict it can be annoying sometimes but I'm grateful okay so I feel like there could be something like that going on where it's like whatever this is that they're trying to get into it's got a lot of restrictions to it and they're not able to but they sure are trying whoever this is Gemini Whoever this is, they are trying. And if this is some kind of divination, okay, somebody who's looking into divination, I feel like they're getting a lot of their own energy reflected back. So they could be pulling cards on you and getting the most negative reading and being like, fuck yeah, I hope they're suffering, right? But then they watch you and they see that that's not really matching up with what the cards are saying. Yeah, because the cards are reading your miserable ass, right? <laughs> like you're the one that's pressed enough to go fucking do tarot on somebody. Yeah, the cards are reading you, you know? So there's something here where energy is getting reflected back to this person. Okay? Or this person, again, is just not able to get past whatever this is. They have tried. Yeah, it's, I don't know what I'm getting, like, your, your spirit guide, like, toasting or something, being like, job well done, right? This could be a soulmate. This could be a child. A child could be trying to get into somebody's bank or trying to get into somebody, get gain access to something. Somebody, a child could be trying to take your car out while you're sleeping or something, Gemini. I don't know. I, I, that's not for everybody, obviously. And I feel like you would know if, if your child would do something like that, right? Uh, but I feel like for a lot of you, this is somebody exterior to you. This person could have a dachshund or dachshunds could be significant or they could be German or you could be German, Gemini. Okay. 
the person could also be into magic or the dark arts or something like that. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. I just feel like there's this protective energy that's been placed over you where people are not allowed to mess with you or they're not able to. I mean, they can if they want to, right? Like spirits, like I'll give them the opportunity. Shit, they can earn that karma if they really want to, but they're not going to be able to. What is that? Is that salt on the table? No, it's like a little bottle with like a little dropper in it, but it looks like salt. So maybe some of you guys should do some uh, salt baths or put some salt around your house or at the corners of your house or however you, you know, scrub your body with salt, however you protect yourself with salt, okay? Oh no, Gemini, okay, somebody's upset with you too. Somebody was looking in the mirror like, mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? That seven of wands was like, it ain't you, bitch. Okay, <laughs> so please go away. I know I'm tired of looking at you. There's something about that. When your spirit guys are tired of this person trying to get in. They're also giving me the energy of um, Scooby-Doo. Like where it's always a different person. <laughs> but it's like they're always in like a different costume. So, oh, excuse me, guys. This person could be trying to like cloak their energy or something and come towards you and your spirit guides are like we know it's you we know i don't know this person's into something advanced here if they're able to like cloak their energy or something yeah the x like this person's been blocked two of swords and they could be with that two of swords somebody could be trying to gain access to something okay they've been working really hard Okay, trying to figure out how to get in, what's the blueprint, what's the formula, how can I get past that? Somebody might be trying to find out where you live. This is like some crazy energy. People got way too much time. Imagine, Gemini, just let just imagine for a second. If they put all this fucking energy into themselves, what they could do, right? Because it's a lot of energy that's getting put into trying to get past something of yours, hack something of yours, find you, read your energy, figure out what's going on. Like that is so much energy that's getting put into you. If they took that energy and put it into themselves, like damn, bruh. But they don't want to do it. That's super karmic energy. That's not just a karmic. That's super karmic. When you, they're willing to be detrimental to themselves to try to fuck you over, that is a super karmic. That is somebody that's beyond help, beyond reasoning, okay? Eight of Cups. Yeah, they should walk away. I feel like you have walked away, though, and that has got somebody really... I don't know like somebody doesn't like that you won't play or the, and, and their idea of playing is like fighting going back and forth being involved in this battle getting on their level being petty this could definitely be family or something and you're not willing to do that you're like bro i'd rather go out here clean up trash clean up my neighborhood feed people right uh you know fix whatever situations i'm that i got going on with people that i actually do give a fuck about right like i'd rather fix those connections um, I'd rather rest. I'd rather count this coin here that we're about to get to. Like, I don't got time for this. Okay, there's something about that. Like, you don't have time for this person. This person's upset that you won't play with them. And again, by playing, I don't think it's what I would consider playing. You know, I would consider it like a headache and a pain in the ass and something that is not worth my time. So I feel like that's how you feel too, Gemini. Okay, anyways, we're gonna move on because we're giving this asshole enough air time. All right. What is the uh, the wealth here for, for Gemini, for their blessings? We have the Page of Cups. So some of you guys could be making a lot of wealth here coming up off of something creative, off of something that you your intuition gave you. Like maybe your intuition gave you some kind of inspiration here. And I feel like it's been bottled up here. There's something about that fish in the cup. Like that's not its natural habitat, right? Obviously, there could be something here where maybe you've been bottled up or you feel like you've been stifled or you feel like you've been held back or something. But that's about to change here with this page of cups. I feel like there's something here that you've been released from. There's been like either a physical release or energetic release with the tower. I really like this tower card too, because it looks like a breakup scene. Like he's down at the bottom like, babe, I'm sorry, right? She's like, fuck you, John. Fuck you, okay? And she's throwing all his shit out the fucking tower, like just socks and a TV and all this. And yeah, so <laughs> I don't know, Gemini. I feel like there could have been somebody around you that was really having an impact on your energy. And that's the thing. Like, you know, 
Whereas you have the Midas touch. We've talked about this a lot. You have the Midas touch. You get around people, things start going good for them. They start healing rapidly. They start feeling better. They start getting opportunities. Um, you know, you, you may even be amused certain people, right? But some people have an adverse effect where when they get around people, shit starts crumbling. Shit starts falling to the ground. You know, they get sick and things start going bad in their life. And it's like there could be something here where you had somebody around you like that. Okay. Some of you guys had somebody around you like that where they were having an adverse effect on you. And it was really, um, you know, blocking your blessings or something. I feel like that has crumbled to the ground or maybe this person has been removed from your life. Could definitely be talking about this situation but doesn't have to be i feel like this fish is about to get put back into a tank or get put back into its natural habitat which would probably be like a pond or something i don't even know if goldfish have a natural habitat y'all let me know are goldfish like manufactured are they like man-made or do they actually have like a place where you can find goldfish for real out in the wild i don't know Listen, anyways, y'all let me know. Oh, shit. I literally just caught that, too, with the goldfish. Because there's a card in this deck that talks about an up level here when it comes to the goldfish. So there could definitely be just an energetic level up that's about to cause this physical level up here. Give me something else for this wealth uh, card for Gemini, please. Okay. We have the Ace of Wands coming out. All right, and then on the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. So I do feel like you have been given some kind of inspiration on how you can gain some kind of wealth or how you can make something um, very abundant for you, Gemini, and you're about to put action into that with the Ace of Wands. Now, with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Wands, it does feel like just starting out with something. Like, this could just be the inspiration to work on something, but you're going to have to actually put that work in. But it's like something that you've been given inspiration to over the long term. This is going to create wealth for you. So if you do some kind of art or you write or you dance, you perform, maybe you create something, maybe you provide some kind of service, maybe you do um, have some kind of healing ability or something like that. It's like, this is going to pay off for you in the long run, but there is this energy of getting organized, being smart and being disciplined too, like putting in the effort every single day, okay? Maybe not all day, every single day, but at some point each day working on your craft, this is what's gonna help you cultivate this wealth here. The Ace of Wands for me also talks about a, uh, just a brand new beginning in regards to something, okay, that you're going to be feeling really passionate about. But it's like, again, with that paintbrush, it's like almost like you have to put in some kind of effort here for sure. We have, what is this that tried to pop? The Fool. Okay. I like this Fool too. You know, they've got their dog, they've got their keys. They've got whatever this is, maybe it's a passport, maybe it's their wallet or something, and they're, you know, got their hand on the handle for their door, and they're about to take off. They're about to go on a new journey. So there's a new beginning here, something that you're going to be feeling really inspired about, and could even be um, your intuition is telling you about this too. But I feel like you've been blocked from this, and all of a sudden now that the blockage is removed, it's like the floodgates are about to open, and you're about to be able to step forward on this journey. And I feel like this is going to bring you some kind of wealth here. Three of Swords, this could definitely be after a really painful time that you've had. And I really like this. <laughs> you're going to hear me say that too about these cards, because I really like these cards. I just like the fresh take that they give us on the, the meanings of the cards. But the Three of Swords, see how he's like jumbled up a lot of his papers and like he's like ripped something down like he was frustrated with it like you ever been working on something and you're like oh i hate this i actually literally did that last night because i like to do these um these scratch and sketch things okay i like to do those and there was one that i accidentally scratched it with my nail across it and it was like the whole thing's fucked up now i was so pissed i just ripped it in half that's the energy i'm getting like there's been a lot of false starts or there's been a lot of like problems or things that you've been disappointed in maybe you're a perfectionist gemini maybe there's this energy of like you know like one little smudge or one little problem and you're scrapping the whole fucking project there could have been something like that i'm getting like starving artists struggling artists something like that you've been struggling to make something work here but this is about to change, okay? In this new journey, this brand new beginning, this could be going into a whole new area, doing something completely different, uh, doing something in a different way, following your inspiration, following your intuition, because we do see that out here. Whatever this is, this is about to uh, 
help you bring that wealth in? Because I feel like you've always known that you were meant to be wealthy or you're meant to be well known or you're meant to have something happen. But maybe you were just dead set on no, it has to be this way. It has to be with this talent. It has to be, you know, something here that you've thought that you've had to do in a certain way. But spirit saying that no, it's something different than what you thought. And you're about to discover that or maybe you just have you've already discovered it just depends right yeah the ace of swords like we're drawing up a new plan we have a new idea here and we're just going to be daring we're going to take a risk and we're going to go after it with the knight of wands okay knight of wands like i don't know what this exactly is but it looks like a saddle to me so he's like getting his saddle ready to go on his journey here with the fool but you know you got some kind of plans going on here we got nine of pentacles coming out yeah okay with the fox here i just get like luxury and wealth that's coming to you but it's coming after a very long journey and it's coming in a way that you weren't really expecting gemini okay because i feel like you've been dead set on something but that is about to change like your focus is about to shift how you do something is about to shift you're about to expand yourself and with that comes this financial expansion okay the angel for blessings please what is this talking about spiritual guidance and protection we have the Knight of Cups. Some of you guys could work with animals. Maybe you're a veterinarian or something like that, Gemini. And then we have the Seven of Swords. Whew. So I'm hearing like false friends, false lovers, false starts. Like it's giving that kind of energy here. You know, the Knight of Cups, this just looks like somebody who's here to help you, right? She's like checking out the dog and she's obviously like taking care of them and making sure they're all they're safe and they're good. But then with the seven of swords and this is you being, uh, you know, led, being protected from harm. It just feels like maybe somebody came in with a smiling face, right? Somebody acted like they were genuine or they had your best intentions at heart, but they really didn't. You know, it's like, we don't know. We don't, Listen, we don't know. We're, we're assuming based off of this one little snapshot that this is a veterinarian. Maybe this is an animal laboratory or something and she's just making sure that he can continue on with the fucking experiments. We don't know that, right? It's almost like maybe you saw something or saw somebody and you took it for like face value or like a snapshot of what they were showing you of like, well, they, I just saw them, you know, holding open the door for an old lady. They must be a good person, but it's like, no, this person puts on acts or this person acts like they're good or this person acts like they are on the same page to get what they want right and then as soon as it doesn't benefit them anymore they flip they cut you off they go cold seven of swords very sneaky very manipulative okay which is crazy because that's what i was thinking about the fox energy so i don't know gemini and you know how i did that with the fox like i had that snapshot of well that's what i think of a fox is a sneaky kind of energy but then the book said something completely different i feel like it's like this but reverse Okay, so the blessing here basically is that you're being led away from energies like this or these energies are being exposed in your life too. There could be something that's going to happen where um, a laboratory or something doing experiments on animals or something like that is going to be exposed and that is a blessing because we can stop it. There could be something like that for somebody. Somebody could be doing experiments on endangered animals. I don't know, I, not that a beagle is endangered, but there's something here. Hmm. There's something here about that, like endangered species or doing experiments on them. And that's like a big no-no. Not that you should experiment on any animal, but damn sure not on the endangered ones, right? Like there's something here with that. That's for somebody. That could be something local that's going on with you or something that you're already involved in. Like maybe you're an activist or something, okay? For sure. Yeah, fox fur. There could be something going on there with that. But what I really feel like this is saying generally for everybody is that there was a false friend, a false lover, a false person in your life. Somebody who, again, acted genuine, acted like they were a good person. They weren't. And this person is being exposed and you're being led away from them. That is the blessing. Could really be connected to this energy, Gemini. I just feel like overall right now you're being protected. So if you're being physically stopped from going places, being around people, if people are walking out of your life if people are like you know doing this energy of like look cutting you off or something okay seven of wands that's a blessing so if somebody's cutting you off you know even if it hurts because it does hurt when people throw you out like trash yeah that shit fucking hurts right 
but it's actually a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise because people who really care about you, people who are um, there for the long haul, they're not going to do shit like that, right? So there could be something here where you have to learn the hard way about some people, but it is a blessing. For others of you, again, your spirit guides are working overtime. Your ancestors are working overtime. Make sure you put some offering or something on your altar if you do something like that, Gemini, to thank your ancestors or just send a quick thank you up to them. Because there's something here where a lot of negative energy that's trying to get in and trying to impact you. A lot of people who are trying to act like they're your friends, but they're not. Or trying to act like they got your back, but they don't. A lot of this energy is being blocked away from you right now. So a lot of you could feel like you're in isolation. <laughs> like you could feel like there ain't nobody around me. Yeah, that's on purpose, Gemini. Okay? That was orchestrated that way. There could be people who have tried to reach out to you. And you never got that text message right okay or that call every time they try to call you it says call failed or every time they try to get in their car and come to your house a tire pops there could be people who are literally being stopped right now from physically reaching out to you or getting in touch with you or something and you're not even aware of this so you have a lot of spiritual protection around you right now and that is a blessing okay i feel like you're being protected right now more than you've been in a long time and i don't know why that is i can only assume it's because you're on the precipice here of this great level up or this wealth that's about to come into your life and spirit's like nah that wealth is for you that wealth isn't for these people because these people will come in like locusts yeah five of swords what else popped eight of swords okay and then something else because these cards are brand new so they're quite slippery five of swords i don't know i'm getting a couple different things of this but it feels like lottery too for me for some reason it's like there could have been somebody and this looks like a diary somebody trying to like again i don't know what this is gemini y'all will probably know you know uh, you better know it's your fucking readings but but i feel like this i'm like what the hell i'm getting a feeling of somebody trying to get in somebody trying to get past something this diary has a lock on it and they're just like well fuck it if i can't get past the lock if i can't get the combination right to the lock i'll just rip the fucking thing open it's something like that for somebody somebody's really trying hard it's interesting too because the keys are right there Yeah, I just feel like somebody's trying to figure something out about you and they're not able to. And that is really starting to frustrate them to the point where they're like getting desperate. Like, you know, and, and it's hidden in plain sight, too. That's the thing. That's the protection here. Something is being hidden from somebody in plain sight in regards to you. OK. I also feel like somebody is willing to take a risk here when it comes to you. Just so they can kind of get in, get some kind of information. Like this person is desperate, like I said. And there's the emperor. This emperor gives me different vibes, guys. It gives more like a, it doesn't give the same vibes that the other emperor cards does. It gives like a forceful type of energy where he's like slamming his fist down, like and his finger, like you will sign this now. Like somebody is trying really hard. Like that Mr. slash Mrs. Nice Guy routine that they got going on. This could be somebody who wants you to sell your house. This could be somebody who wants you to sign something legal or get involved in something. And you're just like, mm, you're kind of taking your time. You're on the fence. Like that whole patient Mr. Mrs. Nice Guy routine is about to end. And they're about to play some kind of hardball or try to force you into a situation. So you are being led away from that. Okay, that's the blessing here that you're being led away from that or you're, that, that situation is getting exposed. I don't know who this is for, but somebody could damn sure be trying to force you into a marriage. I, I don't know why. Maybe so they can get their hands on your wealth or something. We have the magician with the three of pentacles. Yeah, somebody might be working behind the scenes with other people trying to plan something here. I feel like you're being led away from it. So this person could look really nice and look great. And you could be like, hmm, you know. But there's something about them that the alarm bells are going off. And you're just like, I don't know. Maybe, you know. Maybe you need to check the temperature on this person and like see how they react when they get told no or something like that, okay? That's kind of what I'm getting here. Yeah, Spirit's saying to slow down on something, okay? 
So if there's something here where this person feels like they're trying to rush you along, like sign this, be involved in this, join us on this project, go on this trip with us, you know, take my hand in marriage, whatever it is that they're trying to like rush you on. Spirit's saying to put the brakes on that, to slow down. They're on the treadmill here, but they're going zero miles an hour, so they ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? So it's something like that, okay? Let's move on. What is this uh, seahorse? The family matters for Gemini's blessings. Y'all blessings readings are always so strange. It's not just as simple as like, you'll get $1 billion, right? It's never just as simple as that. $1 billion and a billion blowjobs. Like it's never like that. And I'm sure some of y'all are like, a billion blowjobs sounds excellent, sensational, right? But I just feel like your, your blessings aren't like that, Gemini. I don't know, okay? Seahorse family matters. <laughs> I know somebody's gonna be like, not a billion blowjobs. Like, come on now. <laughs> Somebody's job is gonna be hurting. Um, <laughs> we have the tower energy here, okay? So, yeah, Gemini. <laughs> if something falls apart, it's actually a good thing. That's the thing. And I feel like you're also being given the spirit of, I just don't give a fuck. Like, there's something here where your blessing is the fact that you can kind of disconnect from something and not really care, you know? It's so funny because this card, it really does look like somebody's like throwing all their shit out the window. Like, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Right. And it's like, oh, okay, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what I'm getting though. Like with the painted cup, it's like this cup was never real or something like that. Gemini. I just feel like somebody wants a reaction out of you this could definitely be at a family event you know we got thanksgiving coming up here in the states and there could be somebody who's like <laughs> what they bring into thanksgiving the beef okay <laughs> they're bringing the beef to thanksgiving and you're just like bro i don't give a shit here's my here i drew you a fuck <laughs> for me to give right like because i really don't that's how little of a fuck that you give gemini you gotta draw one Okay, that's the, only, that's the only kind of fuck you're going to give. I don't know. That is for somebody. Now, for others of you, okay? I feel like the blessing here could be that there is some kind of chaotic situation that's going on in your family or around you or with your friend group or maybe a lover, but I doubt it. I, it doesn't really feel like that. It feels like more like a family group, a friend group, maybe even a work dynamic or something here where it's like shit's falling apart for people around you. And I feel like you get to stay in the comfort of your home, you know, watching TV. Look at that. They just chilling on the couch. Okay. I don't know. And it's like you're avoiding something. You're avoiding some kind of disaster here. You're avoiding some kind of conflict or drama that's going on with your family. Like you're separated from it. Maybe you live on your own, Gemini, or you don't, you know, you're not involved. You ain't picking up the phone. You ain't reading the group chat. <laughs> There's something here where you're just avoiding something at all costs. And you are. That's the thing. That's the blessing here. Because some of y'all might feel bad like, damn, should I give a fuck? Should I go to the family you know, gathering or should I be involved in the group uh, chat or should I go on the trip with these people? There's something here where you might feel a little guilty here, you know, because you're enjoying your solitude, you're enjoying your peace. And it's like, you know, that people maybe be depending on you to be there or would like to see you or something. But trust me, if you're missing something like that, Gemini, like if you ain't going to the Thanksgiving with everybody, or if you're not involving yourself in the group chat, or you're not checking in, or you're kind of isolating yourself from family, friends, a workplace, something with a group. Okay. If you're kind of isolating yourself from that, you're missing, uh, just, drama that's all you're not missing anything worth value here because shit is falling apart people are arguing okay like yeah that's what i'm getting here damn gemini this could also be what you're being guided away from right with that knight of cups here you know, you could get an invite to like a family function or something. They can be like, oh, come on, Gemini. We'd really like to see you. And nobody's fighting. Everybody's getting along. You know, Auntie Martha and Auntie Shirley, they squash that beef. You know, they're not they're not mad anymore and all this stuff. And it's like, you get there, this is what you're going to see. A whole bunch of what you've always seen. Fighting, bickering, pettiness. 
people pissed off about shit that happened in the 90s. Like, can we let it go, y'all? Like, you know? So I feel like, yeah, there's something going on with your family, Gemini, or your friends, or people who are close to you, and you're not involved because you're isolated. You know, you're not answering the phone. You're not texting them back. You're not involving yourself and so because of that you're missing out on it and that's the blessing here yeah i feel like you're working gemini <laughs> eight of pentacles you're working some of you guys could be writing up something writing up a speech working on a podcast or there could be something here with the page of swords energy of like you're working on putting something out there okay perfecting something is the energy that I'm getting, like mastering something. You're working on your skill or things that, you know, you're avoiding this tower completely. And people could be watching you too with that page of swords. Like, look at Gemini over there. Just not even bothered at all. Like, yeah, you're right. You know, you know, like, because I have, like, my family can be toxic sometimes, right? I don't really get into my family stuff too much on here because I don't want to, it's just not anybody's business and I don't want to offend and upset people because that's not my whole purpose here. But, Sometimes family can guilt you <laughs> into not being involved in the drama and not being involved in the toxicity. Like, what do you mean you don't want to come over for the holidays? I know we're going to fight and we're going to bicker and we're going to be petty and we're going to make you feel completely fucking uncomfortable, right? But we're family. And it's like, that's not enough for me. <laughs> and I've, I've realized that in my own life at 38 years old, that's not enough for me. I, I would rather just do family stuff on my own with my two kids and my snake Okay, and have a damn good holiday, and I'm absolutely fine with it. Like, you know what I mean? It's other people that want me to be involved in the drama. I don't want to be involved in the drama. I'm too old for that shit. <laughs> I have officially gotten to the age where I can say I was too old for it. But some of y'all were too old for it at birth. Okay, so you don't have no time for it. There's something about that, Gemini. Like, that's the blessing here. You are sticking to your guns, and you're avoiding something. And you're avoiding, yeah, you're... you're Intuition is bang on about that. You're avoiding some kind of conflict, drama. You ain't got time for it. Look, Condor came right out, right? This is talking about not lowering your standards, not being involved in some uh, dramatic bullshit. Hold the highest vision for you in your life now. You possess the ability to move past any hurdles. We see that too. So Spirit saying, keep dreaming. Keep going after yours. Keep working on yourself. You're going to overcome whatever these obstacles are. We have the nut hatch. Stay grounded and welcome the new knowledge and perspective that comes to you. This is also the card when it's like the audacity of somebody. So that's interesting that these two cards came out right off the bat. Because I feel like there's a lot of that in this reading. It's like not lowering your standards. Not letting yourself be involved in things that you know are, uh, you know, not right for you, right? Whether it's family, friends, lovers, it don't matter. My loyalty is to myself. My loyalty is to my peace of mind here. That's the blessing. You're willing to put yourself first. And it serves you, Gemini. Okay? So you're not lowering your standards for people, places, things any longer. And then with the nut hatch, it's like, yeah, there are a lot of people around you that do have the audacity. They love to try you. They want to play with you, right? They want to get you involved in this drama and, you know what I mean? Like, try to get you all roused up. And it's like, that's not what you're here for. So... You're staying grounded. You're welcoming the new knowledge and perspective, meaning any kind of truths that come out, anybody that reveals themselves, exposes themselves to be a bad person or to be a two-faced motherfucker or what the fuck ever, okay? You just, yeah, nah. It's a blessing. It's a blessing when people expose themselves for who they truly are, Gemini. Like I said earlier in the reading, it hurts. It does hurt, but it's also a blessing. Both can be true. It can hurt and still be a blessing because now you know who this person is or you know who these people are and you can do exactly what you're doing already to other uh, people in your life, which is uh, avoiding them, right? Giving them a little drawn up, sketched up fuck that you have to give because you don't really got any real fucks to give, okay? Damn, Gemini, cold as ice, okay? <laughs> For some of you guys, we have the dove. Um, yeah, feel and allow a deeper sense of peace to fill you now. This is of a divine quality. And that's the thing. They will try to nail you to that cross every fucking time. Oh, Gemini, I think they too good. That's why they don't want to be around us. Woo, 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 woo. And it's really you, you put your peace first. Your peace is your prosperity. I'd rather sit here and work on my whatever I like to do. Okay. Or I'd rather sit here and read a book or whatever, go for a walk, whatever it is that makes you feel peace. And that is a divine quality. It's a divine quality to be able to stay peaceful when other people really want to drag that peace out of you, right? They want to replace it with chaos and conflict. And you're like, absolutely not. 
That's the blessing, Gemini. You're strong as fuck, okay? We have the Osprey. Your success is now at hand. Allow abundance to flow to you effortlessly. And that's the thing is I feel like it wasn't flowing here with the Page of Cups. There's something about that goldfish in the cup. I just, I don't feel like that's an ideal situation, you know? I'm not a goldfish, but if I was to put my mind into the body of a goldfish, I feel like that would make me feel really horrible. Like there's something where you might have felt really stifled or something. It's almost giving like eight of uh, swords vibes, which we saw over here somewhere. So that's kind of what I'm getting here, Gemini, is like something wasn't able to flow before for whatever reason. And the blessing here is that the success is about to start flowing for you. We have the woodpecker. Yeah, the woodpecker. It doesn't talk about it in this deck, but for me, the woodpecker is a card or a bird, excuse me, of success, of opportunities. Um, but in this uh, deck, it says, use your discernment and fortitude to achieve your goals and find a new rhythm. So you do have new beginnings that are coming to you, Gemini, and you're going to find a new rhythm. Like, you know, you might be doing something new where it is upsetting people around you because they, they want to keep you in that space where they like to see you, right? But that's not what this is anymore. Damn, your spirit guide said, do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I feel like your spirit guides are blocking people left and right. I'm not even joking. The magical and unique qualities of your untapped potential are unfolding now. Wow, yeah, that's a great card to end on here. Because it does feel like there's something here where you weren't letting some kind of potential out. You weren't letting some kind of potential free here. And now you're about to. I see that with this page of cups. That actually helps me bring this card into some kind of meaning for me. Because I was really struggling with that goldfish in the cup. But it's untapped potential. It's not allowed to rise to its full potential. That's exactly what this is talking about. We have the heron on the bottom of the deck. It says, let go of convention and follow your own unique path. Do things your way. You don't have to do what everybody else wants you to do and fit into the crowd and try to get along. That's not your whole vibe, Gemini. That's not what you're here for, okay? All right, Gemini, that has been your reading. I do hope that it helps. Hope it resonates. Hope it does something. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.